Glock 23 Gen 4 High Definition <laughs> Patchack JW coming to you again with another video and we're gonna just show you the Glock 23 Gen 4 this is the mid-size 40 caliber in high definition why not um, everybody likes Glocks um, it's a Glock world I've actually heard friends of mine say so it's not loaded why does barrel tip up like that is the gun broken well the barrel tips up like that so you can pick up the next round of ammunition from the magazine easier so it's got that nice sig lockups uh style you know there going on the gen 4s have the big magazine uh release button which i like and it's reversible because i'm a lefty so i did reverse mine so uh, let's kind of go over and see what the Gen 4 has to offer um, that's different than the uh, Gen 3. The Gen 4s does have the this uh, different type of uh, stippling or checkering. Uh, it's more aggressive, I think, than the Gen 3s. And a big reason I like the Gen 4 was other than it coming with three of these magazines that are around 30 or more pop, um, rather than only two you get one extra one is the replaceable back straps because the back straps are replaceable the actual stock grip is a little bit thinner and for my little hands i actually like that that's a lot better feeling for me than the uh you know the gen 3 and i used to have a glock 17 gen 3 and i had sold it and sold it before i could get a video done with it but anyway, here's the Gen 4, the 23 is what I wound up with, and you know, Glocks, I'm a Glock fanboy, I'll tell you, because these things are just workhorses. They just go and go and go and nothing stops them, um, you know, toss this thing in a dishwasher, not even, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not even dry it off and everything you you know uh, the rust will be absolutely minimum if anything so you know just the love of glocks another reason more and more reasons i love them i, I just they're just so cool they're they're well built and you know they're almost impossible to break unless you blow it up or something in fact vickers tactical blew one up with some tannerite and it survived and he fired it how about that um all right so <laughs> enough uh um, bragging about the Glock. Let's take this thing down. Um, you guys saw my slide work uh, video, hopefully. So, you know, barrel comes right out. That's the beauty about the Glock right there. You know, you just undo the things and there it is. You know, I mean, you got your access to your slide. You got access to the barrel. If you have a swib, you got a bullet lodged part way down the barrel, pop the barrel off and get a stick or something and push it through. Um, the dual captured uh, mainspring and guide rod assembly for the Gen 4s are this. Uh, you can see that there. It's like this, uh, you know, dual thing, dual system. And I noticed that uh, the Gen 4s have this little bump, this little pression thing right here on the trigger bar. Kind of weird, huh? I noticed that about the Gen 4s. Yep, um, pretty identical to everybody else's one, but wanted to show it to you in HD. How about that? Since we're kind of doing that on the channel, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it down for you. Why not? This is the cool thing about the Glocks is you know if you need to take it apart or work on it right away, here I can just you know grab this little uh, Allen key and go ahead and push on that top pin, pop it out. Put some light pressure on that bottom pin. Jiggle that uh, the slide release back and forth. And I'll show you why when we get it out. If I can get this thing holding right. Comes right out. The um, reason you do that, you kind of move this up and down and side to side is because when it's in there, it's locked in this little groove. See that? Just kind of lives right there. All right, let's push the uh, back pin out pull up this uh, block here and the whole assembly lifts right out how about that 
it's pretty much done. Um, you can push on this little uh, spring right here and remove uh, this block. Get in there and uh, you can see that. Um, see that little uh, switch right in there? Just kind of move that to the other side and it pops right out. That's how you reverse your uh, magazine release. Other than that, this thing is done. Done. Done skis. All right. Slide. Slide is just about just as easy or easier. Right underneath your firing pin, there's a little uh, spacer there. Pull that down, slide the slide plate, start it. Don't go all the way. I put my thumb over it and you'll see why. Because there's a little, uh, see that white piece of plastic? Pull this out first. That's your firing pin and uh, firing pin spring assembly. Because this will go jetting across the room. You may lose the plastic piece, you may lose the spring because this all does come apart. Um, you don't want to be going looking for that. Next is your extractor. Go ahead and push this button right here. Comes right out. There's your extractor. There's your uh, firing pin safety. And she's done. How about that? Gotta love Glocks, man. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this mess back together real quick here. And it's done. You know, that's why I love firearms. And I love Glocks especially because this thing, you, you, I did this with this little Allen key and you can find anything that is a pin driver it can push through these holes and do this with. You don't need some special tools, some kind of uh, crazy apparatus to work on it. You, you know, if I drop this thing in the, in the forest, if I'm, you know, out there hiking and I drop it in the forest it's not gonna fall apart it's not gonna explode in my hands it's you know it's there it's ready to go no matter what and I said it once I said it again if you throw this thing in the mud it's not gonna scream and cry I'm gonna be able to pick it right up and punch through every round in this magazine and then some so, um, I'm Bad Jack JW. I'm a Glock fan. I love them. This is an HD look at my Glock 23 Gen 4 40 caliber. Reason I also chose this one is because a simple barrel swap. You get that Long Wolf barrel, and I swap it out. I can shoot nine millimeter out of this gun. Um, so you can use the the 40 caliber magazine, but um, you know why not just go ahead and buy the nine millimeter magazine? And there you have it with more reliability. And there you go. Out of this one gun with a simple barrel and an extra magazine, I have a, a gun that will shoot 9mm as well. And the same thing again. You switch out the barrel, you can use the same 40 caliber magazine. Even better, shoot 357 SIG. That, you know, how, how does it not get any better than that? <laughs> anyway, all right. Bad Jack JW signing off. That's an HD look at the Glock 23 Gen 4. Thanks for watching.